Hola, what's up, Roscoe? Ah. Welcome back, Nisha, and welcome everyone hey, welcome. to the I Roscoe's viewing party of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16. I know it's cold, but we're going to have to get this energy going. I said, what's up, Roscoe's? <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay, first things first. Um, I'm the realist. Well wishes to Sasha Colby. Unfortunately, yes, she is not feeling well today. I think most of you know she's not feeling well. She has the flu. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Ooh. I heard, I, I want to know who said it. But anyway, uh, but we have two gorgeous, gorgeous gals that are going to join us today, yeah? Yes. yes. So please welcome to the stage the very talented, very gorgeous Miss Detox. Uh -huh. Hi. Uh Hi, I'm not in my boot. Okay, she's better. I'm not in my boot, but I am in flat, so fuck off. And please keep it going all the way from season 13 and right up the street. Yes. Give it up for Denali. <laughs> okay, yes, welcome Diva. Yes, all the jeans. Okay, so let's get it out of the way. Make some noise for these two people who came absolutely last minute and got it together. Thank you, ladies, so, so much. I just came from the gym. I just found out I was supposed <laughs> to be here. I, li I think his name was Jim. No, we appreciate y'all both joining us. Thank y'all. Now, Detox, you were with us for the first week. You took last week off, so welcome back as well. I'm coming for Nacia's gig, actually. I'm like, there's no sense in flying this asshole back every week from Los Angeles. It's just no, there's just no way 30 she minutes away. There's no way this bitch would do this every week. I, not at fucking gunpoint. Not, I barely want to watch the show every week. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we were off to a great start with Roxy and Detox, and then you had to have... Um, those Don't two. Try it. Right. Yeah. The Don't most watched it. episode in viewing party history was last week. So Come my through. apologies for last week. Um, but this week we have guests. Yay! <laughs> and Denali. I'm, I'm only saying that because Miss Thing, the first thing she said when she, the show started, oh, it looks good just me and you up here. I said, oh, did I say Ms. that? Yes, yes, you did. You did. Show did, bitch. She I knew. Did. I told you Nation was gonna watch it. I told oh, you. Oh, bitch. I watched it for 30 seconds, just like everybody else. <laughs> The biggest YouTube show in the world. The biggest YouTube show in the world. Oh, my the God. The biggest. All right. Are we enjoying the, the first two episodes? We love the first two episodes so far, yes? yes. Have you been watching, Denali? I'm yes, right. I have. You've been I'm watching? actually loving the season so Perfect. far. So. All right. Well, well, here we go. Here right it goes. Work. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Work. Yes. Okay. It I got to ask you guys oh, really, really quick, wow. really quick. What's up? I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation. Okay. Let's say it's episode five. Will you use the potion to save your BFF in the competition, or are you going to save it for later in the competition for yourself? We're episode five. You have well, good friendships. What do you think? What would you do? I want to know what the expiration date is first. Right. The fine right. print. Oh, that's Let me hear the fine print. That's but obviously, I'm going to fucking UPS it to Roxy. Got <laughs> Oh, so you say she needed it. <laughs> you say she's needing that immunity potion. I would drink that shit right there. Like, oh, <laughs> bottoms up. No, bro. it's perfume. You're not supposed <laughs> to drink it. Back in the There's day. There's a lot of alcohol and perfume. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Especially over there, you need it, right? Denali, what would you do? Oh, I would use it for me, bitch. You use it for you. 100%. Yeah, like the mother like, hose. I'm just yeah. trying to clear out the strategy, like, benefit me in the competition. And I know that's what some of these girls are doing, especially you, plain Jane. You know yeah. what, though? Unless there's somebody who, like, is really rotted who goes a little further. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, you still going to be bad. But I could right. keep you around for yeah. a little bit longer <laughs> just to get this other bitch out of the way. she thinks she can right. beat her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nasha, what about Nisha, you? Yeah. yeah, what would you do? Uh, that's a good idea. That's actually. a really good idea. You're like, well, I know this bitch is like, going home Maybe you've been at the bottom eight times. Well, that's Roxy. Let me just save this whole right Drag yeah. her along. That's, that's kind of what Anitra did last season with Spice, right? When Tea. she was about to lip sync, she was like, oh, Spice is... Yeah. She's not going to stay much longer, so I'll beat out Jax or whatever, you know? Oh, totally. But right. who was the one that actually was like, I'm going to lip sync against this one because she can't lip sync was for it shit. Malaysia? Malaysia thought Malaysia. she could beat Marcia. And then she lost, didn't she? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think she lost. Who was it against? Who is it, Lucy? It was against. Lucy? Was it Lucy? Yeah. 
right? It was Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. Yeah. Marsha. 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 And she lost against oh, yeah, Marsha. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, Marsha. See, like sometimes you gotta be careful. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Congratulations okay. to season 15 on their Emmy win. Yeah. Yes. We're back, baby. Congratulations to Poppy for Hello. breaking the internet. <laughs> she did it for the Divas. That right. was great. Speaking of goblins, right? It was so gorgeous. Poppy fucking you would have like shit. this A-list celebrity doing an interview, and then you just see this green goblin in the background I mean, walking past. On. I thought it was It genius. was like a social commentary almost on the whole so event. Good. It, it was so good. I loved it. It was good. It was really it's so good. good. Okay, so really quick, um, how about the way they just start reading each other real quick? She went in. I love it. For Miss Anita's uh, drag, who's Anita? Amanda. Who's Anita? Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Shit. Ooh. Get her. So get you her, hate a, her, you her, hate her. Anita Wiglet. Look, guys. I, <laughs> Anita Wiglet. <laughs> We I love Anita. Not. It's going to be a couple of weeks before I start okay. getting everybody's <laughs> Anita She had meeting. one week off. She doesn't know what she's doing anymore. <laughs> Absolutely. Give it, to, give it to Dita. I love the no, reading, though. No. <laughs> I don't want it. Aman no, but she came in for Amanda. She was reading her from the second she I, saw her. Uh -huh. I love yeah. the reading. Well, yeah. in the confessional. The she didn't do it in person it yet. In person. That's you're right. Yes, yes, That's you're right. She, right. I'm excited to see what happens when they uh, reveal the results. Yeah, that's what I'm most excited of, about. Of the Raider Queen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because yes. we know the only reason that, listen, not for nothing, but the only reason playing Jane won was because she stacked her fucking Raider Queen thing. That's, and that's T. So everyone's going to be like, ah. Oh. We see what you did with your burger fingers. Everybody, wow. My power. Okay. I still that's got mother. it. That's power. <laughs> so oh me and God. Detox, we... Detox, every time she's here, she doesn't sit next to me. She sits over on the other side. And we were like, we're like, girl, why, why are you always over there? You're finally on my side. And then we realized the whole first five minutes we were talking the whole time. I don't even know what the fuck happens <laughs> yeah. between, the, like, between the show starting and the first commercial break. And we we're over like, this spilling tea. What? Just full on gossip. And I forget how much my voice carries. Yeah. So, like, we're completely talking shit and spilling totally, different kind totally. of tea outside of this realm. This is actually of this good universe. seats right here. You'll get some real good tea. Anyway, everyone over here on YouTube, if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And I want to send a shout out to everyone who has already subscribed to VIP. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you haven't already done so, I encourage you to do so. You'll get all the tea fresh on Friday night, right? Ooh. Oh, yes. Otherwise, y'all got to wait till Monday. Yes. Monday. Hey. Yes. Y'all were cutting up up hey. here. Y'all are wild. <laughs> hey, protect queer art, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> protect it. Shout out to Megami. But that we, was good. We are getting into the ball. The girls have to make one of the outfits per usual. And then Rue also reveals the Raider Queen. We got a cute little segment here. The results of the Raider Queen, actually. Shady. Boobies. Um. What do you think the purpose of that was? Just to atten intentionally stir the pot? Ratings. Absolutely. Oh, we are living. Ratings, an Emmy, Another a Emmy. goblin at the Emmys. Uh -huh. Yes, it was all intentional. This season is messy, boo. Well, I, I love it. it. I love oh, that. me too. Do you guys like the drama and the messiness? I love. Okay, thank yes. you. Are you kidding? Do you hear them out there? <laughs> the passion. Y'all are, yeah. are wild. We love that. I have been this. so exhausted with this kumbaya bullshit for like the last five years. Listen. I want to see them tear each other apart. But, but you know what? It's. I agree. I feel in like, a good way, in a fun way. Yes. Yeah, it is, it is in a fun way, but I feel like sometimes it's the audience that that goes ham on the girl that decides to be shady. It's television. It's just entertaining. Like we, It's just fun to watch. We've said yeah. it for years. They've just never been backstage at a drag show. And this is just common vernacular mm -hmm. practice. Well, let me ask you this about the rate, rate, uh, rate the queen. Um, do you guys agree with the order that it was in? As far as top, you know, who was in the top and who was in the bottom? Well, no. <laughs> okay, well, no. do tell. How, what, what don't you... What? Tell me. Um, I agree with Maya. I mean, I'm a stunt queen, so I appreciate a good stunt. I did think that that was a very good talent, and I liked it. And so I was like, okay, maybe she should have been a bit higher. Um, but yeah, uh, I actually thought... Ooh, no shade. If we're not counting runways, I actually thought Tsunamis was a little... Like lack, more, it was a little worse than um, 
Well, who's a mandatory meeting. Amanda. Amanda. Mandatory meetings. Yeah, yeah. Amanda, Amanda gave you fucking energy. Yeah, her title was good. Oh my god, she was like uh, pantomiming to like her mother's grave. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I live. <laughs> she was. The furniture starting floating. <laughs> Okay, in addition to that, RuPaul also reveals that before um, they give the judges critiques, the girls get to vote on the bottom three and the top three. How do you think that's gonna play out um, the rest of the season for everybody? I, w I just I said this to Nisha as soon as it was done. I was like, oh, no wonder in the commercials they say, power to the queens, because the yeah. queens are making are having the decision. more uh, power when it comes uh, to that. I don't know, I don't, uh, does it, is it gonna last the entire season? Or is it just for this? She said one last time, she right? She said one time, yeah. I'm kind of into that, though. It's I'm like, let them, you know, rate each other separately and then get them all fucking together and rate them again. And I think it's an interesting way to do the top three yes. and the bottom three. Yeah. But it also is like, you know, there could be shade thrown in there. I don't like this bitch. Let me put her rank, rank her super low. Get her, make sure she's in the bottom. But if the judges love them, because they said it'll be before critiques, it'll just essentially write that off. Because if they put Plain or Sapphira down there, they're going to be like, no, we love them. Well, because it, well, it yeah. well, unless the garment's terrible. I mean, but then it really comes down to, are they going to listen to the judges' critiques and say, well, you got the best one, so we're going to... Well, no, are the vote. judges going to listen to the girls' votes? Well, that's what it said. That's the, the voting determines the top three and the bottom right. three. So they're going to hear the critiques first, right? No, they don't. No. Critiques are after. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Explain it to me, because I'm, I'm confused. Those, yeah, the top, three and the, the top three and the bottom three are they going to be the ones staying on stage to get critiqued. Yes. So then they all have to, you know, critique whoever the, the, the group decides. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's what. Okay, I want to start because they're making their stuff right now. And I know that a lot of you make your stuff and have and whatnot. So, <laughs> yeah. we know. Yeah. You know, once they get on the show, it's like, fuck this. So, you're wearing jean tonight, and it does not stretch, right? Um, this is a It has a, a, a little bit. So jean does not stretch. So, that is one of the hardest things to manipulate, which is why they gave this to them in the challenge, correct? 100%, yeah. So. <laughs> The hardest thing for me to wrap around is to know that Morphine is a body queen. And she was like, wait, do something with my body. And then she makes something with jeans and then it doesn't fit. Right. So have you had a moment in your Drag Race career that you've made something that you thought was going to be so sickening Did you see that neon did not thing I out? wore for the candy ball? That thing was ridiculous. Oh, no. I thought that was sickening. I hope it bless you. <laughs> I think all of y'all actually for that candy ball, like comparatively to what we're seeing nowadays, I thought all of those looks were pretty sick. Well, luckily we had, like, they gave us bases. Like, they gave oh, us the nice. corsets. They didn't, you know, they're not providing them with anything. Yeah, okay, that's challenge. good to know. Well, I mean, I don't know. For my season, they did say we are allowed to use our undergarments, which include corsets, panties, and whatnot. So a lot of people, like myself, will just slap something on, like, your corset or whatnot. But yeah, like... Denim is really hard to work with. And for Morphine to be like, my ass is too big. I was like, no, girl, you made your panty too small. <laughs> you should know your BBL measurements. Okay. <laughs> okay. She didn't know her new body. She didn't know she the new body. new body. New right. body. She's like, my body's just always changing. <laughs> I'm just growing so much. I'm a new woman. She thought she was Nisha out there doing Mr. for swimwear. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but, but denim and menswear is usually really hard to work with. It's usually <laughs> stiff material and it's shitty. So, yeah, I don't know. That's hard. But I don't know. Mirage looks like she's in trouble, girl. Yeah, I think Mirage might be in trouble. That was another thing I wanted to touch base with. I think we've seen enough seasons of Drag Race that we know the one thing you don't say is, I think I'm lip syncing tonight. Yeah, she said, I'm yeah. kind of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no boys all now. But, you, you know, know she is like a performer. Her, though. She's a oh, performer. Uh, and also the girls seem to really like her. So if the girls realize that she's in trouble, Steve? they'll be like, you know what? Let me rank her a little higher totally. before but to, like, you know. Wouldn't you want to get free. rid of someone that could potentially send you home? 100%. Yes. yes. It's like Mirage, the Assassins, maybe Maya, I don't know. Like Another thing that you don't want to do, which I, I want to know if you guys noticed this on your seasons, mm -hmm. was when you give, like, a certain critique in the back, like, girl, you look like seaweed wrapped in, and then you hear Michelle, you look like seaweed wrapped in. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yes. Because what's going on in the back, it, you're right on with what you're saying. It's like you don't say you're in trouble, because then 
that's like a microscope. Yeah. Did you guys notice yeah. that on your season? It was well, it was different back in the day because we were doing confessionals after every filming day. Now yeah. I think they do them like we do them after each filming day, but but like, I mean like on set, like yeah. not not necessarily. Oh the yeah, you could hear them like, like you, you could totally that. get a vibe. Like oh, I don't feel good about this. Yeah. And the next thing you're like. I feel like you might be thinking, and it's like, I just, are you in my head? And then I realized, yeah, they are, because there's a fucking mirror with a camera behind it right. and microphones <laughs> everywhere and all these dumbass story producers coming in and be like, can you cry again for us really quickly? Can you tell us why you have hives? Can you stress out a little bit more for why us? Why you have hives? Not hives. <laughs> can you talk about your psoriasis, darling? <laughs> can you bring me some userin, bitch? Right. Oh, you're allergic to cats? <laughs> oh, I wonder if anybody's ever had that where they, because you know the girls, they have animals and shit. And, yeah. you know, I've worked with some drag queens that smell like cat piss, unfortunately. Uh, I, I, I won't say them. their name. name Don't name talk em. about caramel name like that. I, won't, I won't say their name. Name them. Name they know who they name are. They just fix it. You just said name they know. them. Tell just us a, what you season. Said they just a know PSA. If you are. walk past a drag queen, she smells like cat piss. Let her know, okay? Uh, Don't let her just think she's cute. What season? And so name I, them. So I'm wondering if there's any girls that are like, you know, their cat was in their luggage, and then they get to the fucking workroom, and everybody's like. <laughs> Me, I'm allergic to everything. Batty, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back. Okay, so who do you think should be real scared of the chopping block? Rue. Honestly. I'm just kidding. Bitch, Denali said she looked like she was standing at the bus stop and the bus rode by. Well, it is still running then. That's a good thing to know. <laughs> it is still running. It just looks like it went by really fast. Like, <laughs> the dress is so cute, though. The dress is well, cute. Nasha, after hearing that, I think Plain and Sapphira should be worried because, again, the girls could vote them in the bottom, forcing them to use their immunity. I didn't consider that. So yeah. they should be worried for that. But Sapphira, she's doing her thing. She's kind of just kicking back. She ain't Sapphira. She ain't starting shit. She's no, just minding mind her, her business. business. You know, and planes over here, yak, 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 yak. And sometimes that yak, yak, it will talk back. And this is the time. I think this is the time it's going to talk back. She said, Mom what? said, yeah. Mom said, what yeah. You, That's what my you merch. Nasty. Yak, yak, talk yeah. back. <laughs> what do you ladies think? I don't really, I can't, because it's hard to tell no who is doing really terribly other than, you know, Mirage. Mirage. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Like, I mean, it's, I, it's, I can't really judge yeah. based off of, like, just seeing piles of fabric <gasps> on a table. Right, right. I want to see, be able to see everything. And production has been getting us together, too. They'll show somebody struggling, and then they're the most sickening one on the most, Wait, yeah. no. Does this mean we might get a Mirage lip sync? Do we what? It, does this mean we might get a Mirage lip sync? Potentially. I mean, if we get a Mirage I'm, lip I'm sync, okay. that would be fierce. I'm okay with her being the bottom. Yeah. Potentially. Do you think the girls will do that? They'll put someone in the bottom just to be like, bitch, I want to see you lip sync. No, yeah. I mean, no, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Probably not. I would let somebody else take them out. And I'd see, I'd kick back like my girl <laughs> Sapphire from New York, bitch. <laughs> I'd just be chilling, like, let the yeah. the chaos happen. She doing the work, bitch. And I got immunity. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Just for review, so, like, the girls judge and put and rate them, right? Correct. Yes. And Correct. then that determines the top three and bottom three. Yes, yes. and the judges right. will critique them. And then the judges... Where was that? I don't know. It's confusing. And then the judges decide the... The actual yeah. bottom two. So then those, the, yeah. those six will be critiqued by the judges. Okay. Like a regular critique. Yeah. But Got it's it. of the queen's picking, basically, yeah. of who's getting critiqued oh, this week. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of a bitch. But I'm also <laughs> wondering, like, I wonder if... Thank you for catching up. I'm wondering if, like, maybe, like, they'll call some bullshit. Like, if some bullshit happens and they're like... Woo! What if they don't agree with it? Yeah. That's what Rue's saying. Listen, yeah. it's Rue's show. She well, can do whatever look. she wants. Obviously, you've seen in my season, she brought back candy for no reason. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. Your face <laughs> said it when it happened, too. I'm just kidding. I love her. But I think it's too, it's so early in the season that they're okay with what happened. Right, exactly. There's, there's no stunt going to be pulled. You because know that Rue don't know any of their names yet? That's no, what she, she said. She doesn't even know. Uh, this one in the middle. Uh, uh, well, she okay, knows the that purple was her one. Telling back, that was her telling it's Tom so in the back. <laughs> Tell me this bitch's name right now, because I'm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. We're talking about last episode of All Stars. She told, she told Candy, you in the silver. <gasps> like, 
on the last episode. It just there's so and many. And she lives queens. with Andy. There's so many queens now. There's I know. just no way and she's gonna she's, remember everybody's. That's why I can't do this every week, which is why you're stuck with Nisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> I decided tonight that I don't want the gig. You're off. <laughs> You're Thank off the hook. God. We're getting the axe. Okay, so wait. So we only picked one so far. We've said Mirage. Is anybody else in trouble? I haven't really seen any. Once like, we see the looks, we can. And there's determine. also no yeah. one's well, no Maya, one's really saying that they're doing well. Yeah. yeah Maya can't sew, so that's gonna be interesting. Also, does she's she the speak Spanish? The Queen of Flips. She's from Miami. You know they know. Everybody she doesn't Miami. raise the bar. She flips it. Yeah. I haven't stopped saying that. It's like a, a, a housewife quote when they start. Like, I don't raise the bar. I flip it. No, I'm obsessed. I'm <laughs> and obsessed. it's a fucking heel. Okay. okay, let's start with our favorites on the runway. Yes. So far. Zafira. 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 Oh, the, the pumpkin. The pumpkin one was pumpkin everything. Pumpkin turned it. That pumpkin Bitch. fucking turned it. She, Eve was beautiful, too. Eve was like, beautiful. It was a simple, I think, choice, but I loved the execution of it, and she looked gorgeous. Q, I thought it was gorgeous. Yes, Q, Q was, was moon on the moon. That was the so moon. cute. Uh, Nymphia, stunning. Wait, what did Q? What was Q's two? Q did man, man on the moon. Man on the moon. And and oh, Judy beautiful. Garland. Yes, and, and the then, second um, one was Judy Garland. And then Judy Garland. Judy Garland, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. What do we think of a mandatory meeting with the dead cats and then Michelle Visage? I lived Love. for the Michelle Visage. I'm sorry. The Michelle was amazing. I lived for the Michelle Visage with the huge tits and yes. the no tits. Yeah. Redemption on the runway. Yes. For that you was know great. what it is, though, about her is that those wigs sit right here. So like flat. the hairline of those wigs started her eyebrow. Well, you know what's and I'm funny? Like, out of drag. Is that little, little Usually too. I tell the girls to pull it down a bit, but that's right. she needs to like, pull it back. But out of drag, her, her, her forehead hairline, is little. Yeah, it's is the, like right her there. Fore, yeah, out of drag. Yeah, so yeah, totally. That's Must just nice. her genetics, mama. Okay. Which <laughs> ones did we Can't not... fix that, girl. <laughs> I know. Which ones did we not like? Um, Hershey, <laughs> The Lyra. rest of them. Not, not Maya. Maya. We. You, Nation. Which the ones did The fucking rest of them. <laughs> girl, Maya. I'm sorry. My girl, the rest, Maya. All which of one? Which looked, one? Which? Maya had the feathers that were completely covering her Oh, my God. She was spitting out feathers. And was, was, to, Fatty was like, was, where is she? Where is she? <laughs> and was her little Kim giving more Mary <laughs> J. Blige? Kim. Girl. Her little Kim gave Mary J. Blige. Damn. If you're going to wear a, a cat suit and then a flat wig, no body, you're going to just look like a rectangle. Wait, can, say that girl. again. I didn't hear you. A rectangle. Just a rectangle, girl. She <laughs> said if you're going to wear a flat wig and no and body, nobody, you're going to wow. look like a rectangle. And a cat suit. I don't know. I was a huge Who little Kim fan. About? I was disappointed. Maya. Uh, Maya. 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 Now, but ma she got the moves. Perfect. As long yeah. as she popped out with that, I was <laughs> fine. But there was, there's like Kim has so many iconic looks. Yeah, that could have been like a signature Kim reference. The titty, the Le lavender titty. The, titty, the one that did. Who did Lady Gaga? Because that was Megami. Ooh. That was uh, Megami. With here's, all, the, here's the thing: is I've seen all this. Sh I've seen all this shit before on multiple Grr. seasons of this show. I've seen all of it before. Girl, I'm, I'm like, and it's and better. Yeah. I've seen all of it. Yeah, done, you, and I think that's better. the key thing that. If you're gonna do something that's We've already seen, been done, you, have you to do better it elevate it to a right. different. Yeah, 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 totally. If I agree. If, the, if it's mother, if that's the category, be original. I like to see like I'm not saying Lady Gaga's not original. It's just like. We've seen the Chris those. Jenner. Come on, it's I mean we've seen it before. And she we've looked beautiful. The fit was it's I mean, obvious. But, but it's like that's what you wear to a fucking meet and greet, not yeah. on the runway. Okay, what did we Blue think about Mother race. Nature? Ooh. Okay, we don't nope. boo. First of all, no. <laughs> oh, you could boo. Let the boo. public no. be. Just don't boo when they're here. <laughs> no. We Honestly, don't. though, I well, okay. here you clap and give them all the no, love. No, okay, that is a good it. point. I need you motherfuckers to start booing bitches when they come up in here because every week <laughs> when can. there's a girl from the show up in this bitch and you know that you'd be talking shit about them no. each and every week before they Stop. get here, then all of no. a sudden you're like, yeah. you did so good on your season. Master, <laughs> <Sir, laughs> <my> cousin, bitch, <laughs> yes. No. Oh. 
All right. Work. We okay. saw our final looks from yeah. what they had to create, and the girls got to rate everyone for the season. Wow. Yeah. Um, if, if everyone opens their eyes, are we all in agreement that Nymphia's taking it? Yes. Oh, bitch. Oh, Nymphia yeah. down. That was incredible. Yeah. Nymphia and Q are definitely in the but top. But you don't agree. Q would be up there. Nymphia is playing the game, boo, because she said, I'm going to put Q, and then she realized everyone else is going to put Q. Let me move she her said, down real quick. She said, let me move her down real fast. She's a shady one. That little, She's smart is what she is, is what she is. But she's very smart. She was actually my top two. It's between Q and Nymph Nymphia. Nymphia. Yeah, Nymphia. Nymphia. What about you? Who's your top two? Definitely same. same. Yeah. Who's Q the and third? Who, who rounds out your top three? Uh, you? Either Dawn. Dawn. Yeah, Dawn. 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 Dawn was okay to no, me. It's, no, it's uh, Safira. Oh, Safira. Safira, I think, yeah. is probably. Even yeah, though Dawn or Safira. Yeah, you know what? Dawn's, Dawn's look that she made. Shades. Um, from her like, the, the couture one. It was, a, yeah. it, was a, it was just a lot, and it was kind of ill-fitting. It made her look even. And she's tiny, and it made her like the proportions are strange. I love that boot idea, but I don't think it was like. It kind of was outfit. reminiscent of Shay's. Um, That's what I thought. Shay Coulee, yeah. Season nine, no Shay. Who's Miss Thing? Who does the cosplay? I kind of liked her, Rosie the Riveter. It was Megami. Cute. Megami. Megami. But you didn't cute. like her, Lady Gaga. No. And she's gonna vote for. She voted number one for Plain Jane. She voted Plain Jane number one. Yeah. Why? See, I, mean, I think the new girl, New York girls are going to stick together. Girl, fuck Plain New Jane's York. from Boston. Plain Jane's from, from New York. It's close yeah. enough, bitch. That Thank you, true. Steph. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you guys had the mac and cheese bites with the buffalo sauce? They're, They're so delicious. good. <laughs> <laughs> On the opposite end, though, who yeah. do we think needs to be worried about being in the bottom three? Maya. <laughs> okay, unanimous Maya. Maya Amanda? Maybe. Amanda Tsunami. Ooh. Hershey. 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 Okay. Oh, I didn't mind Amanda's, even though I liked Amanda's first one, like the storybook one, whatever mm -hmm. it was. And it was the Michelle cute. Visage and Michelle one. was cute. The Michelle. And the other one was, I mean, it was whatever. We've seen that before, too. But, you know, she did something. I will say, um, Hershey, it's really hard to sew pants. And even, and though, even though it was kind of basic, I was like, okay, pants. It looked like they brought those pants from home, is what I'm they saying. They also oh, did look like maybe. that. <laughs> it looked, that's what I was saying. Those like jeans looked like she pants. had bought those at Express. That's what I was, because I was on like, her way to the airport. a little too good. They got the pocket and everything. I said, oh, really? I think <laughs> those pants came from home. I think I like I think that's them. why they only zoomed. She's like, I had another idea and came up with something the next day, and it's just a... They did a quick pan of the fabric on the mannequin, and that was it. Um, do we think Tsunami has anything to worry about? Did they do the job? Uh, um, safe? Safe bottom? Probably safe. Safe. Yeah. Somebody put... I loved the Candy Muse reference. I like that. And somebody put Tsunami, like, up, like, first. Yeah, someone second, put her right? second or something. Yeah, yeah, somebody put her really high up there. Yeah. Now they're shady voting is what Maybe it it's is. a strategy. A they have bit. friends. That could be strategy right there. I loved the candy reference. I was I very the Humpty reference. Dumpty was also sickening with that. The egg Which reveal. The, the Humpty Dumpty. Oh, the Humpty Dumpty egg? was great. Wait, now that I think about it, the she was kind of fierce. Yeah. She had, yeah. she had the Candy Muse one, yeah. the Humpty remember. Dumpty one, yeah. and what was the last one? It was just Flag. like schoolgirl. It was a schoolgirl. Yeah. Okay. It was fine, but okay. I thought her whole the, package. Didn't Jessica Wilde do like an egg? Didn't she come out as an egg? She did do something. I think Miss Cracker too did like an egg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all the chickens. She did something. I forgot. I will say, if this is judged based on the whole package, as they usually do, mm -hmm. then we'll be looking at the whole package. But I do think that extra credit should be given towards what you made. Otherwise, we're going to have another Utica situation. On our head. All right. Welcome let's back, see. Queens. Okay, so uh, do we agree with the critiques and the top three, top bottom? We were pretty yes. close with the top three. Yeah. We were close. I, I don't believe Geneva should be in the bottom. Agreed. I think we were all slightly confused yeah. when they announced Geneva. I who, think, uh, who would you say should be down there in place? Uh, oh, really? Wait, who, who would take her place? Who, who would you put there instead? Maybe Amanda. Maybe Megami. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, to be honest, even though I'm not really, I'm not yet a fan of Megami, like I don't think that she did worse than, I don't than remember who's in the bottom shit. three. I don't remember her stuff. 
Megami. Was the, I mean, the Gaga one was played out. Megami had Little yeah. Bo Peep. The, but Gaga. I enjoyed the Rose of the Riveter. I, kind, mm-hmm. I can't really remember the first one. What was little it? Bo um, little, little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep. I liked the Little Bo Peep. I thought, I mean, it was it was cute. Like, it was a deconstructed one. It served its one. purpose, it was, yeah, it was but it wasn't amazing. But, Correct. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I kind of agree with the... Have you had the mac yeah. and cheese bites with the <laughs> buffalo sauce? Because they are just fucking... Okay, those. so how about... Uh, we, we were all... Go ahead and say the potion. Oh, the potion. Yeah, that's right. They passed on the potion. Do you yeah, think? Yeah, they didn't need to. I don't think they needed yeah. to. No. no, no, no. I don't think they needed to. But I hate what do you that think? they do it before we they reveal who the top and bottom are. I don't like that part. Let us see who the girls picked and then ask them if they want to use their potion. So now that we've watched it, do you think it's going to expire when they no longer rate each other? That could. That be would it. be really fucking stupid. You're because, bitch, then nobody gets to use it. I feel like this is the last time we're going to see them raid each other. I f- yeah, this may be the last time, but I think they're going to be able to use this up until right before Snatch Game. It's one of the hardest things yeah. on Drag Race yeah. is Snatch Game. And I think I don't think Rue would give them a full pass to say, hey, sit back and relax. Right. Yeah. But you never know. I don't know. They did like- for Tyra. That was a long time ago. They're not doing that no more, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Maybe like halfway through it'll expire. I don't know. Halfway through? Maybe like, like halfway. Who knows? Who fucking yeah. knows? I mean, I, if you really fuck up, you just use it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. know. There's no... So, Who do we think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win this one? Nymphia. Q- I want it for Nymphia, but Nymphia I feel like Q got just an inch more praise. Yeah, I almost I feel like Sephira. Really? Yeah, I love that pumpkin. I, lo- I loved everything she did. And I do... I, I, no? I it, don't know. I just like her. She was great. It was I amazing. Like her. her I think it kind of looked like like theater costumes kind of like very yeah, theatrical. I, and the last one to me looks like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No. And and like no no no. I, I thought Woody from Toy Story. Woody from Toy Story. We said there's a snake in my boobie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Q. I think I'm going to go with yeah. Q. Yeah, I'm going with Q tonight. Yeah. I, Nymphia. Uh, the three looks were consistent and obvious looks like you knew exactly what was going on yeah. mm-hmm. where the Angelina Jolie one was not really I think that was the only I one that, that I could, I could pass on that, same. with Nymphia. Same. But I I mean that thing that she created with all of those ties and the it's wiring amazing. it's one of my favorite things from a design challenge on Ever. the show. It was so and even though it looked simple it was just so editorial yeah. and, back, and effortless. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made some decisions. Work. Okay. It's untucked. It's untucked episode you, 30. You didn't Oh shit, I hate when that happens. You didn't miss much. Um Really quick, again, I want to say thank you to all those on YouTube that... We want to say thank you, not just her. <laughs> when I say I, I mean us. And when I say I, I mean Roscoe's. I <laughs> uh, would like to say thank you to all those that have subscribed to the VIP. If you want the tea and you want to see everything and you want extra little uh, gigs and stuff like that, uh, go ahead and do the VIP. It is how much? It's one ninety nine a month. So a yeah, month, very bitch, affordable. A month, um, and you get it before everybody else on Friday, opposed to when Monday night, yeah, yeah. Yes. five p.m. Chicago 5 PM. Standard Time. Also, we we noticed a little trends with the people who get the VIP and the people that don't. Yeah, um, what is it? We're very grateful for those that get the VIP. We notice the comments and the love that you give us. And then the people that don't have the VIP that come on Monday, we get the shady little comments. Those some, <laughs> some mean ass bro like, bitches. Oh Those are goodness. from me. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. As okay. Detox and Roxy on the phone at front of their keyboard. We have burner accounts. <laughs> But we do want to uh, sh- uh, send a little shout out to a couple of the VIPs. Yes. You want to get this started, um, Caramel? Sure thing. We want to shout out to Lav in Serbia. Thanks for watching, babe. We appreciate Serbia. it. Serbia. All the way from Brazil. Hello, Leo. Thank you so much for watching us every week. Obrigado. Te amo. We got Lady Mia in. Ke- wait, wait. Where's that one from? That one don't say it, right? No, she, um, she's from. Carolina in Portugal. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Michael, in Clearwater, Florida. Get out of there and keep watching. Thank you. Literally, leave. All the way in Scotland, hello to Cameron. What's up, up, Charles, all the way in Jersey? Hi, Charles. 
Um, we want to say um, hello to Lilo, Elizabeth, and Taylor in New Jersey. Thanks for watching, and happy fourth birthday. Hello. We want to say happy birthday. We want to say hello to Kenneth. Thank you so much, Kenneth and Philly. That was a small child. Hi, Susie and Stu in Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Melbourne, Australia. What a. We have Kazi in Montana. I don't know what And kind of give it up for Montana. Hudson all the way in Ontario. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson. Did we Hudson? fuck something up? No. Okay. Yes, we did. We totally. Yes, yeah, she did. did. Right? She fucked it up for she one. She fucked it up. This year. <laughs> Batty, you're on a good one tonight, Batty. We're going to have fun tonight upstairs, aren't we? Oh, wait, I'm ready, yeah. You are on a good one tonight. Also, I want to let you guys know, all of you that are here tonight. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah. Was, we got a lot to talk about. We have a lot spicy. to talk about. That was a lot. Quick. Let's talk about um, Plain Jane so she, going. She thought she was going to be cute and the girls were going to agree with her. But no, everyone was like, bitch, you're coming out too strong, too quick. What yeah. is this? And she got quickly got together by uh, Amanda. She wasn't expecting that either. Yeah, what do you guys... What? Yeah, no. Uh, she Girl, was she knew what she was doing. She yeah. was being a mess to be a mess. And then she realized that no one was buying her bullshit and getting behind her and siding with the mandatory meeting and had to backtrack. That's what it was. Absolutely. Period. She's like, oh, shit, they like this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you do you think likable. It's a, do you think it's appropriate week two? I mean, well, essentially when you're all meeting to be like... I like everyone, but your look isn't giving for me. No. Whoa. Leave that right shit back. to the fucking job. Like, have your opinion or, like, whatever, if, that, if it's asked. But I'm not, like, don't Keep go up there and be like, yeah. we're, gonna, we're talking about something completely different, but let me tell you how your drag is trash. And that's, that's how up. it came off. That's yeah. fucked up. And that's how it came off. Yeah. It wasn't like we're all in conversation and then it was like, She's looking well, for a sound bite. She it's was looking for it. She's yeah. self-producing to be, to, she to was. have a certain kind of uh, she was. edit and whatever. Hi. But we'll see if the show falls for but is it. But I mean, I think they are. They are. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's their I mean, doing she... what's presented. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Fuck, what? <laughs> Tell me upstairs. <laughs> Text me. Text me. Okay, so really quick. So we saw that. And then <laughs> and then we see... Um, right, we saw that. Wait, what? Denali said, right, we saw that. Yeah. Okay, so we see that. I'm trying to think what else happened in... Untucked. What I missed happened? like the first half of Untucked. I don't Same. know. I, what happened in this one? They also know. talked about how they didn't like plastic. Do we have to watch Untucked every fucking yes, week? Yes, we do. Why? Agreed. Because we get the tea. Do you guys want to watch it every week? Oh, God damn yes. it. The public and This is does. why I couldn't do this every week. They love Untucked. <laughs> It was a uh, plasma. They talked about they didn't like her Tweedledee look with the uh, with the person. Oh, that was wretched. I forgot how I, I forgot how much I hated that shit. But Don didn't it look like she had it like it was inflatable and the bitch popped a hole in it right. or something when she was wide. I up. was I was confused by that. They were I like, was expecting it to have like little like <laughs> you know inflatable arms or some kind of bullshit, and it just. <laughs> <laughs> well, she forgot to blow it up before she walked out. The, the difference between that, though, Dawn asked Plasma if she could say something and then received it, and then right. they had their banter. Jane just went into it. And then also oh. everyone agreed, too, is the other thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she it had the shit. rest of the cast be like, yeah, that bitch was rotted. That was Tweedledee and Tweedled, very dumb, yes. Right. I do feel like Blaine Jane's coming in way too hot. She's coming out so hot. Way too hot. And she has like, I mean, she has to notice that. Like, everyone else is, I mean, the, the, you can see the vibe in the workroom, yeah. I feel, around her. Yeah. On a TV basis, I love it. On a strategy basis, 100% love it. On a strategy, on a strategy, basis, on a strategy it. basis, not very smart. No. Well, you can't have both. No, porque no los dos. You can't porque have no both, dos. baby. See, I Absolutely. know you. Roba me culo. Oh. <laughs> That's all I know. Dame más leche, da. O tu mamá tiene pegote y un chocha. Those are the only phrases I know. Or don't they have a baño? There's a lot of Spanish speakers on this cast. Everyone's yeah. from Miami. There's like six Latinas or five Latinas, I think. Yes. I Where? Yeah. Batty, you are on a good one tonight. I'm just talking cameras and rolling. Can I have whatever Batty's drinking? I just want to know. Okay, like, everyone. Please remember after Untucked, if you have any questions for Denali or Detox, keep those in mind right now. We'll come around in just a little bit and ask keep those. Keep them to yourself. But um, we do have some questions from our VIP members. Yes. Um, no. Dag T O three asks. They said we've heard from Brooklyn and Nasha and other queens that they would want um, an older drag legend season. So um, Detox Denali, who are like some legends for you that you would love to see on the show? Ooh. Jackie Beats. Yes. yes. Diva. Um, 
Honestly, even though Candace has been a judge several times that have been has like been part, it would be judges compete now. Mimi Marks, Mimi I was gonna say some Chicago Mimi Marks, Chili Pepper. Oh my God, fucking Chili! Dina Cass. Can you imagine? Oh my God, can you imagine Dina Cass on here? That would be good. Go get me my soda pop. I get a. They don't know who Dina Cass is. You can see her over there. Is she still the baton? Yeah. Yes. She's she's the baton. over here every old host in the baton. Nasha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next question is uh, Nasha, targeted I to see at Nasha you. on the older queens. Awesome! No! <laughs> you know what? That's where I thought you were going because you're like, Nasha, would you like to be on the older season? No, bitch. I, I'm not dumb. I know better. <laughs> but no, I was saying the next question has something for you, Diva. Uh, okay, yeah, so before I get to that part, there is another part to the question that says, uh, this is from Dominic, uh, B4687, just so he knows who, he, who it is. But the question is, he would like to know from all the queens what your plans are for 2024, spiritually and or mentally. I don't have that much time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Spiritually and what? And or mentally. Like, what are your two twi- like 2024 plans? I thought you said orbitably. <laughs> and I was like, sure, take me to the moon. Let's go. <laughs> I, mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll just give you, like, an example of something that I'm doing, and it comes from, like, having to do All-Stars. Like, I have... I used to engage. I used to... Someone will say something negative, and I wanted to be like... Well, listen up, motherfucker. And literally, I get that's how I would get. Yes. And I don't feel the need to engage in that negativity anymore. So it's one of two things. If I actually end up reading it, it's either a delete or block because I don't even want to see it again. I'm totally eliminating it. Or um, I, I don't read. I don't engage. I don't pay attention. Um, and on the contrary, I focus on all the good things and all the things that I do have opposed to what I don't. So that's where I'm at mentally and, and spiritually. Beautiful. What about you? I am um, out gonna, of time. I'll say we're out of time. And, no, and we're back. The the fucked up part is then they reverse and then they throw her ass back oh, in there to no, pack all her shit. It's all an act. It's so shady. You just do like one bag for the cameras and then yeah. they're like, get back in there, you slack. You drive. They're like, all right, now go pack your shit. It's so shady. Wow. But let's make some noise for her. She. Yeah. Hershey, je take cornbread, la boue, la veja, je tour, la ve, la ba, Girl, I don't know what you want. <laughs> What's going that on? That was it. That was you know, name. she has a great attitude for leaving first, though, I will say. She's like, you know, I had a good time. Bitch, if I left first, I would have set that place aflame. You know, I the, the only thing with Hershey, is, is she the one that walked in and said, I didn't really prepare, prepare for this. Yes. Right. I, I feel Immediately. like from the very beginning, Why would you she say set that? herself up Why would you say that? to fail. Like, it just Why? put like a bullseye on her back. Like, right. oh, you didn't prepare? Okay. You know what it, like, you know what I mean? It just gave that throughout so the first weird. episode. But anyway, um, I do want to go back to that question yeah, let's finish um, that. about uh, what are Your you plan. doing new for 2024, uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? Wait, I'm sorry. Before we do this, can we oh. say goodbye to the oh, front yes. bar? Oh, yes. So sorry. So sorry. Uh, front bar. Everyone say bye to the front bar. Bye, bye. guys. Bye. We bye are going to bar. do We're gonna do Q&A back here. So you're more than welcome to come join us back here and do Q&A. But you're more than welcome to stay in the front and have cocktails and all that good stuff. Come QRA. Bye. Okay. Go for bye. it. Detox? Uh, I, I want to stop saying yes. I'm such a yes man. You know, I say yes to everything. I don't put a lot of boundaries up when it comes to, um, like, my, my personal relationships or, you know, saying yes to work and, and you know, p- over-exhausting myself and overextending myself. Um, so I've been working on that a lot over the past year, and I want to do that very majorly in 2024. Um, Thank you I, for I, saying I, yes today. <laughs> I, I, oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Well, thank you for saying I've yes. I've already fucked up. <laughs> I said You've yes already to fucked up your here. 2024. <laughs> Denali, what about us, Diva? Um, <laughs> I mentally, I'm just trying to enjoy kind of everything that's already been set in stone. I feel like as drag performers or entertainers in general, we're always like, more, more, what's next, what's next, more, more, more. And I feel like there's been a good foundation that's been set, and I'm trying to literally just kind of, like, enjoy that, because we're always in a different headspace of, like, what is next? 
what's going on, which we should be to push ourselves, but then we're completely forgetting about enjoying what's current. So, I mean, that can be applied to anything in life, right? If you're literally in a place of your life where you're like wanting more, also be appreciative of what you have and really enjoy it. That's yeah. where I'm at. And that's does, does that mean you would say yes or no to All Stars? Oh, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> she still wants more. Yeah, I'm still always going to want more. But Daddy, like, Caramel, know, what yeah. about you two? Um, I like everything y'all said. I would say for myself and everyone, if it's not feeding you, fucking you, or financing you, it ain't for you, baby. All right? That's how I'm going to look Work. at it. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm just going to piggyback off of all that. I'm just kind of stepping into like a new baddie and just trying to mind my business and be the best bad I can be. So, yes. the baddie, but the baddie, baddie, pretty little risky baddie. Yes. Okay, let's finish this question. Nasha, this was for you. Yeah. Um, for the fans that love and have the utmost respect for our girl, uh, can you come in next week and scream, bitches, I'm back? I, I will do it next week and I'll do it. Bitches, I'm back! Okay, there you go. Um, there you go, you no. hungry fuckers. <laughs> I'm going to do it next time when I can. <laughs> she said they're paying a dollar ninety nine for this. Okay. Listen, really quick. Outside, and this is from Lucy, 4OR. Outside of Drag Race, what would be your go-to reality show and or show you love to binge? Not that you want to be on, but that you love to binge watch it. I'll start, because I'll let you guys think about this. So I am just getting into Traders. I don't know if you guys have wait, seen it. Wait, wait, can you explain what Traders is? Because I don't, okay, it so looks like I want to. So Traders is a group of individuals. They're all like um, celebrities and whatnot from um, Bravo, et cetera, et cetera. And they have three people that are Traders. This is the one Peppermint is on right Correct. now, right? Okay. yes. And they have three traders, and they have to basically stay under the radar. And the, um, what are they called, stuff? The Faithfuls, thank you. The Faithfuls have to find the traders. And it's just so good. You would be really good on it. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> a compliment. It's a compliment. Oh, you know how to take it. I'm going to watch this show, and then, it's I'll, it's about then I'll come back. It's about liars and deceivers. You'd be great. And then great. I'm going to come back. It's very if, competitive. If I got to pretend to be somebody's like friend, you're right, Betty. I can't do that with you really well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just throwing the shade and back. And then what did she say? No, I'm just throwing the shade back, guys. This She's, is my favorite reality show right here. She is my it's favorite. It's the biggest show on YouTube. She is my favorite co-worker. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. She's my friend. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, so that was the last question from our VIP YouTube people. We wait, are going let's to ask the girls what show would y'all oh, be on. I don't know. Oh, wait. What do you mean you watch? Go ahead. You didn't answer. Sorry. Me? Oh, I don't really watch reality television, Same, to be honest. I was going to say. I really don't. I, I, no. I, I, like, I like a lot of true crime. I watch Dateline NBC like a motherfucker. I watch Dateline like a motherfucker. And that's probably the extent of the reality television right. I watch. Although, whenever I see really funny memes about housewives, sometimes I'll go in and like try to get the tea on it and be like, let me go, okay, let me go do some research on whatever makes this funny. Um, do you watch Big Brother? No. <laughs> Big Brother fans? No. Yeah. I love it. I, I want to Survivor, I The Circle, any of those? I love The Circle. No. I love The Circle. We talked about this the other week when I was here. I, that, the Circle is a show that I would love to do because that would be really funny. Um, yeah. And you don't watch any either, Denali? You know, I've been watching a lot of like documentaries and docuseries yeah. things. I love cult documentaries. Oh my god! I Mother watched, God! I watched Mother God. Oh, Big give Bang. me, a, oh, give me Surf. some colloidal silver, please. Huh? I need some colloidal silver. <laughs> it's a cult in oh, Colorado, and it's this woman that like is just yes. insane. And she, Mother yeah, God, it was wild. It's on yeah. Max. She, she like turns blue. It. It's crazy. Oh, Anyways, it's Denali. great. Um, also, it's, like, it's literally like. If you want to get fucked up and live off of the earth and just do a bunch of mushrooms with a bunch of people who are so, and then get money from strangers online, come see us. I was like, you know what? That sounds fun. Okay, Denali, yeah. um, you, you used to work on cruises, right? Yes, I used to work okay, on Okay, so would you do like a love boat or maybe even Dancing with the Stars? The last thing I want to do is go back to a ship in general. <laughs> you said none of that. No, none of that. Dancing with the Stars, that'd be fun. I'd okay, be, she could do, do that. that. But like... I don't want to go back on sea at all, girl. Fuck that shit. Living in a tin can? No, man. Uh-uh. No, but I've been watching Mother... I watched Mother God, and then also the Natalia Speaks. Oh, Natalia Speaks. Girl. And then are you ready for part three? 
Uh huh. That is it's wicked. So I can't is. stand that faggot that's like always about. Oh, you know him who's so theatrical. God. He's like, well, I just was a victim of everything. <laughs> I just. I'm, I'm, she I'm, needs I, to put the glass <laughs> dick down. Literally. If you know what I mean. You're giving Ooh, all I the spoilers away. I can't stand him. Every time that queen comes on stage, I'm just like, turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> Literally. I but but what about the weird, like, adopted dad, the pastor dad? He's like, He gives me weird vibes, too. The pastor dad. I the don't preacher. like They him. all give They're weird all vibes. Everybody up. involved. Did you guys watch Gypsy Rose? Did you oh, watch Gypsy. Yes. Right, justice for Gypsy. Ain't nothing cute about that bitch. Y'all are wicked. Y'all are all fucking wicked. All right, we're going to turn our... Qu- we're going to turn this around. <laughs> I cannot. Y'all listen, are talking about some... Woo! We listen, want it to be uh, real, bitch. That bitch I, just, her I like Below Deck. Oh, yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. You can do I've that watched one. that before. I've watched that before. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I've watched I it. I'd watch, like, a gay version of that. Is there, like, a gay below deck? I would do that. Who said faggot? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, just the divas. Uh, oh, shit. Am I, I, I have questions. The, some questions. Who in the yeah. audience? I thought the show was back on. <laughs> the show's already one, over. Two. <laughs> it's questions done, over here. Okay. It's a wrap. Stand up for me, diva. <laughs> uh, All right, we got our first question over here. Stand up. Hi, friends. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Denali, on your engagement. Thank you. I'm Kyle. Yes. <laughs> congratulations. You and Alex Thank are so cute. You. Alexander. Thank um, you. My oh, question Alexander. is for uh, both of our guests tonight. Uh, we've been doing a lot of all of our friends here tonight. Um, uh, my question is, we've had a lot of twists on Drag Race coming out. Canada's Drag Race just released the Golden Beaver as a twist. Do either of you <sighs> know what that is? Okay. Do you like that better or worse than this Raider Queen What twist? the fuck is the Golden Beaver? The Golden Beaver, you, you get Canada's to Drag Race. No. You get to save somebody it who's in the It was similar to the immunity thing that they immunity vial that they have here, where you can, uh, you but you couldn't save it for yourself. You had to give it to another queen. Fab. So it's like if, you know you had a wait. Friend in the I did just meet all of them because I was at DragCon UK. Who got it? Like what? Was um, the a couple. Yeah, every week it was until like until like the middle of the season, correct, or something like that. They did it every week, so each week somebody was able to get the opportunity to stay. That's I like. I mean, I listen. The show becomes after 16 years has become a little stagnant. Like any time that they can throw something that's yeah. different into it, I'm all on 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 board for it. I like the Raid of Queen thing because it puts them at each other right away. I I mean, I wish that they would show. Like playing Jane was so nervous that it was going to show how who rated what. I wish they would have fucking done no, that. No, I love that. Pull pull all that shit out. Yeah. No, Make it real great. nasty if you're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. our next question is right over here. What is your name and who's our question for? My name is Colin, and I'm from Chicago. Um, I, my question is sort of for all the queens here. Um, I've had, like, a really hard week. I'm having to put a dog down tomorrow who's 15 years old. Um, so I just wanted to... First of all, say the makeup is makeup thing. Thank you. <laughs> and I just wanted to have like a little like Lux Noir moment, but like opposite, like I just want to give everyone compliments. Aww. So <laughs> your makeup and hair, like literally, I could not stop staring at it. Like, Thank you. Um, Nasha, you've been one of the nicest queens. You probably don't remember me. Where? <laughs> Here! You must Here. be confused, darling. Here. <laughs> You're dressed to the nines, detox. I've always been so obsessed with your style and your aesthetic. I told you that last time I was here. I don't know if you remember me. I told you I would see you at Work the World and... Um, this was years ago then. I know. This was and years ago. I said all the wrong things and you hated me for it. So no, I just, I just hate Work the World. I know. I said all the wrong things, so I just want you to know that I love you. I love you too, baby. She loves I'm so sorry that you had to put your dog down. I know it's a tough decision. Yeah. Denali. You gave them a great life. I love you so much. You're doing Chicago so fucking proud. Like... Um, and Batty... Uh, your growth here has been so amazing to watch, and that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That was Thank so you, sweet. sweetheart. I also fully thought you were about to say, "Baddie, you're gross." <laughs> I thought that. I, I literally heard that at first. I was like, "Did he?" But just I'll tell her upstairs. Don't worry, I'll tell her. I upstairs. heard gross. I swear. I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, baddie, whoa, gross, gross." Wow, oh, at least say it behind oh. your back. Down. No, no, she knows. She knows. I'm just fucking with her. I'm just yeah. fucking with her. You're All right, gross. we got a question right here. Hey, friends. On a lighter note, 
This question is for the collective. There's a lot of judges on U.S. Drag Race that nobody knows. So which former Rue girls do you think would be a good judge and for what challenge? Detox. Oh, I would fucking love to go up there and judge, but they will never have me do that. Um, but I think, I think Bianca would be an incredible judge for like the roast challenge. Yeah. Bob for a comedy challenge. Bob for too. a comedy challenge. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Raja would be amazing. For like a, a, the totally. ball. Raja for, ball. for the ball. Mm -hmm. Who would y'all pick for the rusical to judge a rusical? Uh, Maybe Jinx. Maybe Jinx Monsoon. Jinx. Jinx. Jan. Yeah. Jinx or Jan. They, baby, they, they Jinx. don't feature Jan. No shade. Jinx. They don't feature Jan. Never have, never will. They don't wow. feature Jan. Let her oh. sell her back I mean, it's no shade. Wow. They, I love Jane. We're not being shady. I'm saying the show is being <laughs> the shady. The show is being shady. They'll like yeah. her for whatever reason. Our next question's over here, Diva. Stand up for me. This is Joy. This is her Diva. first time at Hi, the viewing Joy. party. Hi, Joy. Who's your question for, Joy? Um, for all of you, uh, I would love to know your sun, moon, and rising signs. Because I'm a basic bitch, and that's just how I live. I don't, don't you have to know, you, like, when you're... The time you're the born. The time you're born, where you're born, and all that. that. I'm, a, I'm a Gemini. I was born June 3rd, and I'm my... I'm a Gemini, a, too. I have a... You know, I know you are, too. I know you are, too, girl. I also have a twin brother um, who's seven minutes older than I am, and I am a Gemini, Gemini, Gemini Libra. Whoa. Oh, word. No, no, no. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini... Sagitt... Where am I? Sagittarius? I think that's what it is. Okay, work. Hold on, let me pull up my co-star. <laughs> I know, I was literally just pulling up mine. Um, my son, it, my son is Capri, my moon is Sailor, and- I uh, fucking hate <laughs> you. <laughs> I fuck. Denali, do you okay, know yours? Bitch. What's yours, Denali? I think my son, I'm an Aries. Um, my, ever, my crowd going mid. Oh. <laughs> um, they sure my, did, didn't they? they went, uh, um, my moon is, I believe, Pisces moon. Y'all have seen the moon if you look at the Instagram. Ah, 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 no, that's the peach. Uh, the Pisces moon and Libra rising, I believe. Yes, yes. So I'm emotional and a little headstrong and a little fiery and whatever. I'm kind of a bitch. Correct. The boys all know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Gemini, Gemini, Sag. My moon Sag. Sag. Okay. Huh. And I'm, I'm just a, a fiery-ass Leo. That's it. Leo. That's all I know. Hi, stand up for me. What's your name? Um, my name's Eve. This is also my first Roscoe's party after welcome. watching Welcome. Hi, welcome. Oh, thank you. Um, my question is for all of the lovely queens tonight. Um, if you could go to any concert for any artist, living or dead, who would it be? Beyonce, period. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. Uh, Madonna. Uh, I'm a huge concert goer. I love going to live shows. Um, I One of the shows that I wish I would have been around for was um, Portishead at the Roseland Ballroom in 1990, I think, 7 or 98. It's one of my favorite go-to shows to watch on YouTube, and it was like, I was, I was, well, I don't know, how old was I? Uh, I was like maybe 13? No. Thir I, how old was I in 98? Yeah, 13, probably about 13 years old. Um, but it was MTV did like a huge live version of it, and it was incredible. I also would love to see fucking Fleetwood Mac. See my favorite, my favorite. And I never got a chance to see Fleetwood Mac. My favorite was uh, Blonde Ambition tour, and I would now have there's concerts of Madonna that I would have loved to, to have, have gone back for. Blonde yeah. Ambition tour, yeah. Girly show was, would probably be the oh, one that I would love to go see. Oh, Girly show's a good one too. Yeah, mm. that's a good question. What's yours? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jimi uh, Hendrix. Oh, yeah. you smoke, bitch. Hey. Or Janice. We can be friends. Janice Welcome. Where are you yeah. from? Aurora, get the fuck out of there. Come to the city, baby. <laughs> Welcome, mama. I would want to see Whitney Houston one yeah. time in my life. Oh. Yeah. I am going to see Kelly Clarkson in Vegas in two Kelly weeks. Kelly Clarkson. Though. Oh, jealous. That's going to be so fun. Okay. Our next Go get question. those scalp to Dell tickets that are $9,000. Right. I would have also loved to see Selena like yeah. once in my life. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Yeah. All right, our next question's right over here. What is your name and who's our question for? My name is Ricky, huge fan. Uh, my question is for Denali. Obviously, hey. we all want to see you on All Stars, yes. but there's so many different formats now, like UK versus the world, the regular Drag Race All Stars, and Canada. Yeah. Which one would you pick and why? <sighs> I would definitely want to make sure I like, before I do any of the franchises, I want to go back to like the, like, the regular, you know, All Stars. Um, 
And but I I've, I've seen some of the like verses and those look fun. But I think I would like really like to invest in like the all stars first, you know. And it would be so sickening if they did more like non elimination seasons where it was just kind of like showcases or something. That would be sickening. But yeah, they need to start separating them again. They're so over. Yeah. Like, all stars are so oversaturated that I don't feel like it gives any of us time to breathe watching. Oh it. yeah, it comes yeah. so quickly. Also, I don't think that it gives them a big enough like bucket of amazing entertainers to use because mm-hmm. they've used so many of them so many times. And so there's a ton of the girls out there like you would be fucking amazing 100%. on All Stars. Layla yeah. would be amazing on All Stars. There's, you know, um, and I think that the, that's what's one of the things that's lacking is that there's so, it's just one after another after another instead of like it used to be a few years apart. And then the fucking show was stacked and people remember, were so excited. And, you remember know, when your All Stars came about? Like when All Stars two came back. The hype was so like, big. Come oh, that's on. what I think too. It's like because it was so fun oh and it was God. like the whole build up going into it. Everyone remembers where they everything. were. But now it's like it's just we it's, know at the end of a season we're getting another. We're All-Stars. gonna get another All Stars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like it just doesn't give anyone like time to anticipate it or get so excited about Capitalism, it. Capitalism, honey. Yeah, period. Period. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. More, more, more. Here, would you like to stand up for us? Who had the question? Don't be shy. Nisha, would you lean, lean your mic right by her? You're wearing sea foam. Oh my God, hello. Thank you. Hi. I just got this guy's her Amazon. Makeup. I'm so excited. Anyways, if you could like redo the snatch game of like any season, what would you do now? Oh, that's a good question. If you could read to Snatch Game, what would we do oh. now? Um, I'm not telling you, bitch. I did Kesha originally. I wanted to do Angelica Houston, but I wanted to do her as Morticia. Okay. And I was told at the time that we weren't really able to do characters, even though everyone else did, like, a, you know, they don't do it that way anymore, but more people got away with doing it, so I was nervous about doing it that way. Um, I don't even know how well I would have done it that, cause, but the look would have been right. Because uh, <laughs> I look like Angelica Houston. Um, I would love, I was having this conversation with somebody recently. I think Sandra Bernhard would be a really funny character. And not a lot of people know who Sandra Bernhard is um, or any of the references you do. But she's hysterical and also has really amazing sound bites that you can play off of. And Rue always loves those like nostalgic sound bites. Who watches Pose? Who has seen Pose? Yeah. Yes. So Sandra Bernhard was the doctor. She was the doctor that was treating the HIV patients. She's redhead, curly hair, but she's normally actually a comedian. She was on Roseanne as well. Yeah, she's been in yeah. Roseanne. Madonna's best friend back in the day. I don't know if they oh, still like pussies yeah, yeah. or not, but. All right, we got one more. Oh. Oh, I just, Sorry. I just think somebody loud, funny, and obscure. I think like Pee Wee Herman or like Mr. Bean would be really funny. <laughs> Just something ridiculous. Like, RuPaul's humor is like pee pee poo poo, like ha ha hee hee. So you just have to be like honk honk, wee wee in front of her, and she's like, yay! Yeah. You there, know, so, there's I don't this know. actress that is so good, but you guys gotta help me with her name because I cannot remember her name. She's on the White Lotus. It's not Jennifer Coolidge. No, no, no. She's the Puerto Rican girl. What is her name? Audrey Plaza. Oh, Audrey Plaza. Audrey Audrey Plaza. Plaza. This is the if greatest. If you have day of not my life. watched her on a late night show oh. or an interview or some she is fucking hilarious she's, it's the she's deadpan oh my god it's the deadpan yeah. yeah she the deadpan just remember, oh my god she's remember so she was a judge on drag race and she was all like stars. this is the best day of my life if, uh, tomorrow i'm killing she was myself a judge on all my season of all so stars funny. yeah yeah and we all were like this bitch is fucking like like not even sandy so we're like quaaluded out of her fucking mind literally i was upset. i'm like share bitch share <laughs> All right, we have one final question right here in the middle for you. Hi, my name's Amaya Mann. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Um, I just want to know, what makes a memorable fan experience for you? <gasps> fan experience? Oh, my God, you are so beautiful. I know, she's gorgeous. Oh, my God, you look like my mommy. Um, one of my favorite, I mean, I, I go out a lot. I don't know if you guys have noticed that in town, but I like to pop around a lot, and I always love it when people just... Um, approach me like I'm a regular human being because I am, you know what I mean? So it's always like, and I get that people get excited when they see us and they get get nervous. But at the end of the day, we're all just a bunch of queer people trying to exist and have a great time and live a life that's full and vibrant. Uh Um, And so I, I, I always love it when someone treats me like an equal. Yeah. You know, because I am. I agree. 
I agree. I feel like a lot of times people forget that we just came from these queer scenes where we were all just doing this with our friends and dressing up and having fun and doing shows and whatever. So if we're, you know, greeted with that same energy, I think it's really nice. One time I was in Brazil and we finished a show and I came out in boy or whatever and everybody like said hi for a second but then we all just danced for the rest of the night like out of drag it didn't feel like they were like swarming or anything like that we were all just like there dancing at like a queer night in Sao Paulo and I was just like this is how it should be like yeah. something like that just yeah being natural so yeah for sure and I don't have fans so thank you oh what a <laughs> Stop. You have plenty of fans. I'm, just I'm right fan. here, baby. I'm, I'm your biggest fan. fan. My favorite fan um, fan thing is um, I play Mario Kart on the Switch. And those <laughs> of you that watch the, um, on YouTube that don't know it, find me. I'll whoop your ass. But um, okay. I've created this little fandom, and they came to DragCon to meet me in person. And it was the funnest thing. And I went to Universal Studios with them, and we just had really fun. So it's fun to like meet people outside of what you do that love what you do. So, yeah. Thank you for loving and appreciating us. How about you? Um, let's see. You don't have fans, that's right. I don't have any. Uh, no. Um, I love, listen, I love when um, someone knows, like, they know more than just Drag Race. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's like a true fan. Like, uh, anytime that anyone says, oh my God, you're a Miss Continental, I think that's pretty awesome. Because it happened 10 years ago, you know what I mean? So, um, that, that's exciting. I think that makes a positive when you know who you're actually a fan about and how they start and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but I want to remind everyone that at 10.30, 10.30, we will all be performing. What time it is now? It will be Friday Night Lights. What time it is? Uh, uh, we're performing, 10.30. With, no, I know uh, what time is it now. Oh, what time is it right now? 9.25, boo. Do you have somewhere to go? Thank you, 9.25. <laughs> Do you have somewhere to go? Oh, I gotta go ice oh, medic for yes. this call. <laughs> And not only us, but we have a whole slew of drag queens, beautiful, talented gals here at Friday Night Lights. So stick around and join us at 1030. But right now, please make some noise for our amazing guests. Please give it up for Detox. Can I get up and go? Keep it going for Denali. Thank both of you divas for filling in. Once again, speedy recovery to Sasha Kobe. We hope to have you back soon. And join us next week as we have special guests Mirage and a mandatory meeting here. Babe. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Kind of a bitch. I'm going to have to, I'm I'm have to pop Ladies out and next gentlemen, week. please yeah, make I'm some noise for Caramel Deville. Keep it going for Betty Davis. Ow. And keep that going for Nisha Lopez. All right, we will see you guys next week. We're going to go ahead and flip this room. So let's make our way to the other side. DJ, let's throw some music. We'll see you at 1030. See you later, VIP. Bye, Bye YouTube.